welcome to 10 Eyewitness News. Tonight I'll be talking about social media like Instagram, Facebook and many more apps that can influence the way young teens and adults think. So what apps do you use? I use Google+, Gmail, um, Snapchat, Instagram, Skype, um, Facebook Messenger, just all Google+. Okay. Um, and does anyone in the audience have any questions they'd like to ask Sabine? Um, do you just let random people follow you? I do. Um, I've got a man called Molester Children and he <laughs> follows me and he's a pretty sweet chap actually. We text him a lot. So. Um, do you think it's wrong if other kids, that kids are getting targeted for all this whereas adults do it too? For cyberbullying? Yeah. Can you please repeat the question? <laughs> um, do you think it's wrong if kids get targeted by the media for cyberbullying, whereas adults can do the same thing? Uh, yeah, I think I think my opinion is some adults also do get cyberbullied um, by peers, but kids, I think that kids are targeted by media and stuff because they're not game enough to cyberbully them in front of their face and stuff. Okay, thank you so much. That's so all right, right Maya. Yeah. <laughs> hello, everyone, and hello, Maya. Teens are today using social media way too much and it becomes addictive. But what do our kids actually use their phones for? Do they use them for emergencies, to ring their mum, mums or something different? Apps like Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and many more are all apps you can talk to people if they aren't available at that second. This will be the first topic we'll be talking about today. Did you know that 1.7 billion people, 1.47 billion people today in society use social media? Why are just teens getting targeted by the media and not adults? Now we have all heard those problems of kids sending out a certain type of picture of themselves to someone else and that's spreading everywhere. If you don't want it to be in the front of the newspaper then don't send it at all. But what about Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton? These are adults that know better and still don't use social media the right way. So why do teenagers get marginalised for mimicking these adults behaviour? Teens look up to these role models, yet are defined as being rebellious, immature and reckless, from TV shows like Gossip Girl to articles in the Courier Mail. Here is a short clip from Cyberbully the movie of what it can actually do by using social me media too much. Let's see what representations are used to make the teenage characters. Not just TV shows that portray youth in a negative light, you can see here it is an article on cyberbullying, how it feels. <laughs> it talks about how cyberbullying is different on, to bullying in general because it's everywhere. When you get home, it could be on your phone, on your computer, and everyone will find it out instantly. Kids are getting targeted for this mess, which is understandable as we cyberbully people and this ends in a bad way, but this happens to adults as well. As we kids look up to these adults, our role models, and whenever something goes wrong, with social media, the kids always cop it. Not the adults, even though they could be doing the exact same thing. But why does the media target the kids for this? Isn't what kids do just copying the adults? Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Follow them? Have a look at this photo. Why do we get targeted when all we are doing is mimicking our friends? If you look at that photo, who do you see using the social media? The parent, the parent could be on Facebook or anything other online chatting site. They are doing this in front of their child repeatedly. This does not teach the kid anything except to, to, to do the same when he gets older. Young, chi <laughs> young children look up to their parents as a role model, and the parents are using this as an ongoing action. The child will use do think this is the right thing to do as well. This is a statistics table on like how much time kids spend on their phones and how many of us get cyberbullied. People are starting to design, design adverts for cyberbullying as kids are watching TV, they can get them to realise that they should not bully other kids and that, is, uh, that it is unfair to be bullied and ways they can stop it like the kids helpline. Thank you and good night.